ever more obvious what the average American is now. And they were designed and, again, recreated to be consuming automatons. And you can see perfect examples of that in the videos, the nine of them I've got up there, of Black Friday shopping stupidity. Crude, rude, primitive, and I won't even call them pigs at a trough because pigs at a trough at least don't push each other down, kick each other, scream and yell and use profanity. They just slop it up. These people are dangerous, Jordan. They're scary. No doubt about it. You know, when uh, when I was young, my my dad took me uh, uh, fishing once, and in, in, in the South, when you go fishing for crabs, it's interesting how they do that. You get a big, huge bucket, and then you fill it full of seawater, and every time you catch a crab, you drop it in the seawater, in the, in the bucket, to keep it alive. <clears throat> But well, after a while, the bucket gets filled with crabs, and they're all trying to get out, obviously. And so once in a while, one of them might get almost out. It would get almost ready to, to jump out. And I tell my dad, I said, well, this one's getting out. And he said, no, it won't get out. Don't worry about it. And I said, well, he's almost out. And he said, he won't get out, so don't worry about it. And sure enough, <clears throat> uh, all of a sudden, he's pulled back in. Well, we found out huh. what I found out what happens. Uh-huh is that when one of the crabs is trying to get out, all the others will grab onto him yep. and pull him back in. <clears throat> and so that's uh, what happens in the world today. Every now and then, a young person, a child, or a young man, or a woman, will start to think outside the box. They'll begin to actually think. And immediately, all of their, all of their peers will pull them back into... Uh, the stupidity, because uh, misery loves company. You know? Oh, they beat him to a pulp. Nobody's going to get out. Oh, they beat him up. Pulp. Yeah, exactly. Do not let anybody get out of the uh, out of sync with the uh, with the program. Well, we co- we commonly call it peer pressure, but it's worse no. than that because the peer pressure is to prevent success. And we've had stories. I've run stories. You've probably seen them of young people. I'm talking about high school age kids and younger, intentionally sabotaging their own academic success so as not to be mocked and laughed at by their alleged peers for getting A's. They'll actually do poorly on exams so they don't have A's, so they don't have to carry that around as a burden. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Because uh, that tells you where our human society on the earth is going. When the, you know, but this is what democracy, and that's a big well, thing. Well, where'd that expression, hell on earth, come from? That's it. <laughs> that's where we're headed. That's exactly where we're headed. And, and, they, and the problem is, I think you could boil it down to, politically speaking, democracy. Because the democracy is, in fact, the worst form of government possible on the earth. I don't think there's anything worse than a yeah, democracy. Yeah, well, I, I agree. A democracy it's, is 35 guys hanging one. I mean, everybody voted, and so we killed some guy because we hung him. Uh, was it, uh, did we have a, a court and to see if he was guilty? No. 35 guys decided he was guilty, and that's it. It's 35 to 1, democracy. Because the word democracy comes from a Greek word, demos, D-E-M-O-S, demos. Demos is a riotous crowd, a, a, a riotous uh, mob. That's why when you see after ball games and when some, uh, like up in Montreal, when they were turning over cars and busting windows out in the town and burning everything because their football team won, uh, that is called a demonstration. Demos in, you know, in Greek means a mob. So we have a demonstration. So then in America, we're talking about taking around the world our brand of democracy, because it sounds good. It sounds very, uh, it sounds very fair. But democracy sounds like everybody gets a fair shake. Well, in point of fact, no, democracy simply means, if you look it up in a dictionary, do something really strange, read a book once in a while, and look up the word democracy, and it means mob rule. So that's what we have in America today. It doesn't... You know, if you can get enough people to vote for you, then that means you are God. 
You mm-hmm. can do anything you want there because there is no law. America is the most lawless country in the world. There is no law. The way it works for America is if you get elected, you're the boss. Period. End of sentence. Doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you hurt. No matter how many thousands of people you may put into prison, you may torture, cut their uh, cut their hands and fingers off, torture them, do anything you want, rape and plunder, and just be, you know all the criminal things you can possibly imagine. Why? Because you speak for God. Because you got the most votes. And so originally, this country was set up as a constitutional republic, which means nobody was above the law. But since America is now the most lawless country in the world, simply meaning whoever is in power is God. Period. End of sentence. It doesn't matter uh, what they do. It doesn't matter how heinous they act. It doesn't matter. They are the boss. And so uh, that's democracy. Well, and the other problem with democracy is that the people will always vote for somebody that they like. <clears throat> oh, I, you so, so, come on. It's uh, Absolutely, Jordan, and then some, and, and we all know it. It's a telegenicity is the key. Uh, are you telegenic? Can you project? Can you make people like you? Is there something about your image or appearance that, quote, resonates with people? I like right. the way he smiles. I that's, trust him. Yep, that's it. And therefore, uh, who was that one of the great uh, American philosophers Many years ago, uh, I can't remember exactly how it was said, but basically he said that a democracy means that eventually there will come a time when you will have a president who reflects exactly the American people. And, uh, <clears throat> and But the American people have an IQ of 40. So that's why you're getting presidents who are like the American people. And like Dick Gregory said, the presidents and the and the leaders of America are big, and what you are small. You are cheating on the income tax. You ch- you're checking out the girls' uh, tits while the Rockefellers are checking out the gold mines in South Africa. So it's just you know, lust is lust, no matter how you cut it. So what um, we're doing is we are just being led by our senses. We're being led down the tube, and uh, because we like him, he looks good. Or this this person sounds better than the other. Nobody really knows who they are, where they come from. You're not, you know, you're, well, look at the uh, president. Hey, what do we know about the president? Nothing. Zero. You're not going to. Well, your business owner, yeah, the only know. thing we finally know, we've got to take a break here, but we finally do know what we weren't allowed to know before, pretty much. It's in uh, Joel Gilbert's film, Dreams from My Real Father. And that is a must. It's like the CIA or somebody, probably the Mossad, let the uh, let the truth out. And uh, Gilbert put it into a film. Uh, it is must viewing. Dreams from my real father. I, I think it's a free Netflix view now. 